Hey, this is Black Belt Dragons D&D, and I am Blaine Markey, the DM. Uh, today is Hump Day Homebrew Review, and we're going to be going over the Necromancer Spellbook, uh, Volume 1. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and take a look. So, this is the Necromancer Spellbook. It's on the DM's Guild, um, and if you want to make a necromancer or if you want some more necromancer spells this is a great book to do that so we're gonna kinda just go over it a little bit um, but it is by Ice Evil it says version 1.2 I guess it's, there was an updated version um, so in here it just has some definitions of what a living creature is what a non-intelligent undead is uh, just for, for rules um, material components, it does talk about that in here. I personally, when I run my games, I don't use material components um, unless it is uh, something specific has a cost, uh, like a thousand gold pieces or something like that. Um, then, then I will use material components just uh, for the economics of the game. Um, and then it has quick navigation. This is something that I really like. So if you go down here, if it well first off this is all the spells and it has the spells by class then by level um and so if you click on so let's just say i click shadow horror it brings us to the page that it is on then one thing I've, i discovered uh, uh after the fact if you click on the name once you're in there it'll pop back up to the spell uh the spell list so it's it's Got a fairly easy navigation within the PDF. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so, the spells. This is probably my favorite... Oops, I keep hitting the wrong thing. Alright. So, this is probably my favorite spell in this book, is Animate Animals. Um, for the most part, it's just fine familiar, but for necromancers. So, it's a good first level spell, especially for someone that just wants to deal with dead things and uh, just wants to be a necromancer, this is a good starting point. Um, so they want to raise dead things um, and not necessarily just want to do necrotic damage. This is a great uh, first spell. Um, and it doesn't really uh, affect um, gameplay too much other than what a normal fine familiar spell would do. Alright, so yeah, so this is a good um, kind of baseline uh, necromancer spell. Um, there's a lot of spells in this book that either do necrotic damage or um, something having to do with like exhaustion or some, sign of, some sort of condition. Uh, so we're not going to go over all of them. Um, but another good thing this PDF does well is if you want one undead creature, but... You want to buff them up, and you want to make them this big, bad, undead creature. Um, there's a lot of spells in this book that will do that. And um, so if you want to just be a necromancer, and you want to sit back, and you don't really want to get involved in the fight too much, but you want like this big, beefy, undead creature, um, there's a lot of good stuff. So one of the first ones in here is Bones of Steel. So pretty much what this one does is it strengthens the um, bones of any undead skeletons that you have, and it grants it a, a plus two to AC, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, so yeah, there's other spells so like Chill Blood that does necrotic damage, um, Curse Water. I'm assuming this is the opposite of um, uh, Create Water, um, which this is probably for a undead cl or a cleric that's like maybe a grave cleric or something like that. Death Nail. So um, the cool thing about this is it's kind of like Vampiric Touch, um, but it's it is sort of like Mortal Kombat where it's uh, in Mortal Kombat they go finish him. So this is if you down an opponent but you don't actually um, like kill them. They're just unconscious right now doing death saves. This is something nice. You pretty much just kill them. On the spot but you gain temporary hit points so this is sort of like a um, just quick kill um, just to make sure they don't get back up but also you get extra hit points that's the main thing because uh, I know most DMs especially me if a uh, monsters down or a creatures down they're not gonna get back up there's no 
like healing them or anything like that um unless it's like a important npc or important uh big bad in game which is bbg how much do you guys know that actually all of you guys know that anyways that's besides the point so uh yeah but then again there's more stuff in here like this is necrotic damage um this is a uh, condition um Detect dead. This is just detect good and evil, but for undead. Uh, flesh made foul. Uh, yeah. So a lot of these are just like does spe very specific damage to things. Um, this is paralyzed. So yeah, there's a there's a bunch of good stuff. This is this um is pretty cool. This spell it's called Graph Weapons. So this is another buff one to uh, your undead creature. So um, this is a fourth level necromancy spell. And if you want, again, if you want to buff up your undead creatures when after you raise the dead, you can use this to replace one of their arms with a weapon. So you could put like a giant maul on their arm or a battle axe or um, something. I don't know if it has, I got to look to see if it has... Um, if, you, if it says you have to use a light weapon, or if you can use, uh, doesn't specify. Um, or at least not that I'm looking at. So that's pretty nice. And the only material components is you need the weapon, um, which is not hard to get. It most you can get it at most uh, stores in your in your uh D, &D game. Um, halt undead. This is just a uh, hold person undead um let's see here infuse negative energy uh necrotic damage um uh ooh, this makes your um undead creature move faster um so that's nice uh extra 15 feet that's pretty nice um to do, -do, do raise city this is pretty interesting so at ninth level you can raise every undead creature in a village or city or town or whatever and it has a little bit more like how many dead undead dead or undead creatures would be in that specific city but you can like raise every single undead creature which is insane um which is pretty good that it's a ninth level spell but um yeah it, it's that's crazy yeah so I would probably roll, um, so like for small village, it says 60 to 600. And side note, for this PDF, the only thing I really, really don't like is you can't copy. So you, like I can't highlight. And I use D&D Beyond a lot. So whenever I have uh, spells that I want to use that I find in PDFs, I will copy them and uh, put them into make my own private homebrew item or spell in D, D beyond but you can't do that with this you have to type it out all the way which i think i did but i can't remember um but yeah so this one i would probably roll so it's between 60 and 600 i would probably roll a d100 six times uh same thing with this uh d100 um eight times oh okay so i would roll a d100 six times yeah, that's 600. And then, so this one, I would roll a D100 eight times and then just add a zero. Um, and then on this one, I'd roll a D100 ten times and add a zero. Um, so that's probably how I would do that because if you roll a D100 ten times, it's a thousand. So, yeah, for the first one, just roll straight D100 six. Uh, this one, a D100 eight and then add a zero. This one, D100 ten add a zero. Um, especially when you're dealing with huge numbers like that, it, it does, you don't have to get down to the nitty gritty. Like it, it doesn't matter at that point. Um, let's see here, raise death Hulk. So it seems like when you read the title, um, it, it seems like okay, like I'm about to raise this like huge, um, like monstrous uh, creature. But what you're raising is a ship. Um, it's a ship that is complete the crew is completely um undead creatures animated undead creatures um 
And uh, so, yeah, that's what, pretty much what this does. Uh, any necromancer can hope to perform. Blah, 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 blah. Maybe undead crew. Yeah, so it's it's just an undead uh, ship with uh, an entire crew. So that's pretty nice if you're doing a naval campaign and you guys are higher level because it is a 7th level um, spell. So uh, that could be pretty nice because then you don't have to deal with it. Ooh, that is a creepy picture. So yeah, um, pretty nice. Ray of Exhaustion. I mean, it's it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Recall Spirits. This is pretty interesting. If um, if you if someone dies and like dies during a battle, or if you kill someone and you need answers, this is more of a um, role-playing type ability. If you or utility type spell, if you need answers, you can use this to bring their spirit back to them uh, for a limited time, I believe, and then this can help you get answers that you need. So instead of having to like do um, non uh, non lethal damage, you could just kill them and then bring their soul back to answer questions. Um, repair undead. This is nice. It's just like um, cure wounds or um, oh, man, I already forgot. It's like cure wounds or healing ward. Healing ward. And um, but it's for undead because if you read Cure Wounds or Healing Ward, then it specifically says does not work on Undead. So this is um, specific for Undead, or if you guys have any like vampires in your group or anything like that, some homebrew, uh, this would work on that. I think there's another one higher... I gotta find it. I know there's one higher. I don't remember where, though. Oh, here it is. Infuse negative energy. An undead creature you touch gains a number of hit points to blah, 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 blah. Um, so, yeah. So, that is another... I think that would be, like, the Cure Wounds one. Uh, oh, no. That would be the Healing Ward one, probably. And then this one would be the Cure Wounds one. I don't know. I always get those two confused. Um, yeah. So, Sensory Link. This is just being able to uh, see and use the senses uh, through your undead creature. Um, which is pretty nice, but the kicker to this is it's uh, viable for one mile, which is really nice. And it's only, oh, it's a second level spell, so that makes more sense. Um, ritual. Um, yeah, so let's see here. Shadow Horror. This is, uh, ooh, that's pretty nice. A negative two penalty, and it's done to the, that's pretty, that's harsh. Um, yeah, so a lot of these does necrotic damage or, uh, Uh, ooh, it does damage. Uh, nor damage is normal, blah, 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 okay. Um, anyways, Skull Snare, this is pretty cool. It's, um, this is if you have a skull and you want, uh, again, if you want to talk to it and get more information. Um, it could be nice to, if you have, like, uh, a skull with you and you place it in a corner that you guys want to stake out or whatever, you can go and talk to it later. Just hope it's not sarcastic and or unhelpful. Um, yeah, Soulbind. Um, this is very similar to, where was it? Recall Spirit, except you can bind it to something very specific. So this is sort of like a Horcrux um, in the D&D. If you guys are Harry Potter fans, you can trap a, a spirit or soul or whatever to a gem. Um, or something else. You could, I mean, if you want to do, uh, well, it says gem. You could do it to other stuff. It doesn't really matter. Uh, spectral hand. Looks kind of like mage hand, but it does. Okay. So it's like mage hand, but you can, and a familiar put together where you can use it to, uh, it, cast something that is a thing of, of touch, um, and you get a plus one bonus, which is pretty nice. What level, spell level is that? That's only second. That's, that's pretty nice. Um, Strike Baron, Guiding, yeah, so that's, a lot of these are kind of normal, but I really like the ones that just buff up your undead creatures. Um, Threshold of Life, do, do, do. Channel Negative Energy, let's see here. Oh, 
that's pretty nice. So undead conduit, you can use your undead creature to cast um, spells further. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, that's pretty cool. Visage, visage of the dead. This is um, you can change your appearance to look like you're undead. So if you're trying to gain access to a necromancer's lair or castle or whatever, this could be nice. Um, voice of Deathly Whispers, do do projector voice. A lot of these are kind of give and take. I really like the ones that buff up your, um, buff up your current undead creature. Um, Wall of Bone, this is just Wall of Fire, but with bone. Um, what I do like about it is on a specific side, so if you put it in front of you and then on the other side is, uh, um, enemies, you can, they can take bludgeoning damage because there's spikes on the end of the other side. Uh, wave of exhaustion, wave of fatigue, those are kind of self-explanatory. Wound, um, this is not what you think it is, so I would think, if I read just wound, I would think, alright, this is gonna heal me somehow, but you actually make a wound in, um, a creature that you're hitting, and then um, everyone else's attacks uh, make it hurt more. Um, so that's pretty nice. So that's the end of the spells. I think there's 50 spells, 40 spells, something like that. And then down here there's templates. This is for um, uh, the animate animals, um, or animate dead animals or something. So if, if it's a skeletal animal, you can use this template. If it's a not quite skeletal, if it's a zombie, you can use this one, um, and then yeah, and so down here it just has, uh, um, credits, and it has the second spell book, which I will review at a later time, but, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just, uh, throw it down in the comments, uh, below, I hope you guys enjoy this, um, I'll also, so if you want to pick up this book yourself, you can click the link below, um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty nice. Um, what was that? Hold on. Rufus! He's just back there licking himself. I'm just gonna turn the camera off. I'm move over. But this one is if you down an enemy. What the heck? My cat's crazy. want to pick up this PDF just use it a uh, blah blah if you just if you if so if you want to use 